It's day two of the Kurdish fight back against the IS gunmen who have continued to hold and take towns in recent weeks. Thousands of Peshmerga and counter-terrorism soldiers are being deployed, many around the town of Jalula. But IS are well armed and are waiting. Roadside bombs are causing more casualties than ever before here. In the desert, the two sides are fighting to control territory, not the towns themselves. IS have them under total lockdown. What the Kurds are trying to do is to cut their supply lines. IS have modern equipment and lots of money. These are desperate days for the Kurds. This operation is designed to show their intent, but in part it's also an appeal for help to the outside world. The fact that the Peshmerga are setting up these offensive blocking positions around towns and cities like Jalula is actually a tacit acceptance that they can't take those towns and cities back. I was here a couple of months ago and they were carrying out tank battles in the centre of Jalula. But they still lost control and they haven't been able to get it back since. And that is why they're wanting more help from the outside world. While the Kurds do have heavy weapons, pretty much everything is old and they're getting little or no air support. The IS are good. Peshmerga frontline positions are regularly hit from far away. There are scorch marks and burning patches everywhere. An officer collected shrapnel that had narrowly missed us moments before. We need weapons to make the, the uh, battle equal. We need modern weapons like those that IS got to be able to kick IS's as and get them off from our lands. The fact is that IS are consolidating their positions every day and every week. While the Kurdish people will never give up, they, like so much of Iraq, are in real trouble. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Jalula.